Hello and welcome to English Learning Station. Today let us learn how to write instructions. Writing instructions find an important place in technical writing. One needs to make instructions for various purposes such as maintenance of laboratories or machinery, installing a new software package, assembling a piece of equipment and so on. In general, instructions should be clear, precise, understandable, complete and above all user friendly. Now let us learn how to write instructions. The first step that one should remember while writing instructions is that we have to use only the direct imperative form. Why? Because imperative structures are usually very clear and precise. Therefore, imperative form of sentence is the right form to write instructions. Number two, begin each step with an action verb. All imperative sentences usually begin with an action verb. Therefore, it ensures clarity and completeness. Therefore, every instruction should begin with an action verb. Point number three, frame each step in such a way that it focuses on a single task. In the sense, for example, the safety instructions to be followed in a chemical engineering laboratory. One instruction could be, keep your working place neat and tidy. Another instruction could be, wear apron and gloves while handling the chemicals. We cannot mix both. Keeping the workplace neat and tidy is totally different from wearing apron and gloves while handling chemicals. So both these instructions should be two separate instructions and one cannot be mixed with another. Number four, number the steps and ensure the correct order of the procedure. So what do we mean by ensuring the correct order of the procedure? While writing instructions to be followed in a chemical engineering laboratory, the instruction should be sequenced in such a way that the instructions that are to be followed before entering the lab should be written first. Then the instructions to be followed while working in the laboratory should be followed next. And after that, the instruction should to be followed while leaving the laboratory should come. So for example, keep all the doors and windows open while working in the laboratory could be the first instruction. Keep your working place neat and tidy could be the second instruction. Handle all glassware items carefully could be the third instruction. Wear apron and gloves while handling the chemicals could be the fourth instruction. And finally, as we move on, we could probably write these instructions such as switch off the power supply immediately after completing the experiment. Arrange the apparatus in order after the experiment is over because the last two instructions are those which are to be followed after we complete the experiment. So this is what we mean by ensuring the correct order of the procedure. And finally, use sequence words if necessary. In the sense, words such as always rinse the apparatus well both before and after use. Here, the word always is a sequence word or you call it a signpost word which indicates better clarity in the instruction. Here is an example that has been done for you. The following are the instructions to be followed by pedestrians. Number one, walk on the pavement or keep to the extreme left of the road. Number two, use subways as they are safer for pedestrians. Number three, cross the road only at the zebra crossing or when the traffic police signals to you to cross the road. Number four, avoid using mobile phones while walking along the road. Number five, do not walk on the dividers. Number six, 
Follow the traffic signal strictly. Number seven, look on either side to ensure that the road is clear before crossing the road. Number eight, when a vehicle is approaching, better stop and let the vehicle pass away. So these are the eight instructions that are to be followed by pedestrians. If you observe, each of this instruction begins with an action verb and each of the sentence that is written here is an imperative sentence. And also observe that each of the instruction is wholesome and complete. Also remember that all these instructions are positive instructions except for instruction number five, which states that do not walk on the dividers. So always try to write positive instructions rather than using negative forms in the sentence. The following are the eight instructions to be followed to save fuel. If you go through these eight instructions, you will understand that each of these instructions is written in imperative form and each step begins with an action word and each of these instruction is focusing on a single task and all these instructions follow the right sequence or the correct order of the procedure. So if all these instructions are strictly observed while writing instructions, we will end up writing the right form of instructions. What we find here is three sets of common instructions that one would come across in everyday life. The first is the set of instructions that one would find on a fire extinguisher. The second is the set of instructions that one would find on an elevator or a lift. The third is a set of instructions found on an LED torch. With this, we come to the end of our lesson on writing instructions. We have seen the format of writing instructions as well as samples. If you have any queries, do post it to me. Thank you.